Um, today's video is about as serious as I think that I'll, I'll ever be about a subject that doesn't directly pertain to me. That's not something that I have any firsthand experience with. It's not something that I, and I hope that what, what I'm about to talk about never happens to me or anyone close to me. Um, but I think this is, uh, this is a very relevant and it's unfortunately far too prevalent in today's society. Um, I live in a, in a relatively small town, um, probably maybe, you know, with the influx of people coming in for work of about 50,000 people. Um, surrounding areas, you know, there's there's a little over 100,000, but they don't all live where I live. Um, I've lived here my entire life, uh, moved away a couple times, always came back, uh, and this is home. And it's a small city, but people always talk about how dangerous it is. Lived here my whole life, so I don't really I don't really see it as dangerous. I see it as home. Uh, I know which streets I need to be on. I know which streets I don't need to be on. Um, I know what time it's too late to be in certain places. I know when it's okay to go, um, when it's time to leave. Uh, I know the, I know the people that are causing problems. I know the people that are problems. I know the good guys and I know the bad guys. Um, and what I want to talk about is what happened to us here in my town last weekend. There was 10 people shot in the course of about five days. Um, four, five, five of those people did not survive. Um, I don't want to get into specifics because I don't want to screw up any details. Um, as far as I don't want to, I don't want to cause the families of the victims any kind of harm. Okay, um, I don't want to put any names out there. I don't want to say anything derogatory. I don't want to say anything inflammatory. I don't want to say anything wrong. What I do know was that a lot of people lost their lives. Now, I am a gun owner and an advocate for, for the right to bear arms, um, but something's got to give here. To have that many people shot, to have that many people shooting, um, you know, we, we people, people, parents, teachers, policemen, um, you know, elders in the community, elders in the churches, and we have got to do a better job at teaching people, man, it is not okay to get mad and shoot people. It is not okay to pull your gun on police. It is not okay to resist arrest um, it's got to be hard enough to be a cop but to be under scrutiny if you shoot somebody if you don't shoot somebody no matter what you do you're wrong um, I've had run-ins with the police they've always been very friendly run-ins um, and I don't know if that's just cultural or just the way I was raised. Police pull you over. You'd be nice. You'd be nice to the cops. There's no reason to be angry. You're already stopped. Now, I've also never been harassed by the police. I've never had a police officer mad at me. I've never been drug out of my car and thrown on the ground. I don't know how that would make me feel. Okay? I can't say. But I can say that resisting pulling guns is a good way to lose your life. Um, now, 
on that note, I mean, you know, cops kind of have to take some responsibility too. If they're wrong, they're wrong. You know, I get it, man. I have bad days too. And I snap at people and I lose my cool. And sometimes, you know, it, it, it's, it's not right. And, and I know we say we got to hold police to a higher standard, but they're people just like the rest of us. You know, uh, it ain't, a, it ain't a person watching this video. It ain't a person out there that you know. It ain't a person out there that somebody you know that knows has not lost their cool at least once. Now, generally when we lose our cool, it doesn't cost somebody their life. So, on that aspect, we do got to hold cops to a higher standard. Okay? Um, and I get it, man. You, you have a bad day. Somebody gets shot. And you got to live with that. I don't got to live with that. You know? Um, now... On, on another note, man, these, these guys out here getting mad, getting their feelings hurt, um, getting into altercations and arguments over stupid things. And then they come back and then they're going to shoot up everybody. And we, what's, what, for what? As a kid here, 19 years old, he's probably never going to, he's probably never going to see freedom again for what he did. And I'm not talking about damnation and an ever everlasting soul. I'm talking he may never see the outside of a jail cell for the rest of his life. 19 years old gone. The seven people that he shot, the three that are dead, families torn apart, dreams destroyed over senseless violence. Man, it's there, there's nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing you can't walk away from. There's no reason to ever, ever go back into a party. There is never a reason to pull out a gun and shoot that many people. Okay, there's just, it, it's, it's senseless, man. You know, now, on that same note, and I don't, and I'm not saying that this is what happened, because I don't know. And I don't want to say that any of these people did anything wrong because I don't know the facts. I do know the facts that seven people were shot. That's a fact. Okay? I know that. I know a kid shot seven people. That's a fact. But what I want to say is, man, you guys out here trying to be hard and trying to be tough and messing with these guys. You know, you don't know these people. You don't know what they're capable of doing. And you're going to push the buttons. And then this is the kind of stuff that happened. Now, there's no reason to shoot nobody. There's not. There's no ever, ever, ever reason to go back into a party. There's no reason to pull out a gun and just start shooting into a crowd. Ever. No reason whatsoever. Okay? And I'm not going to advocate for anybody. But there's also no reason to go after a person. There's no reason to attack a person. There's no reason to steal from a person. There's no reason to pick on somebody. Everybody's got the internet. Everybody sees the news. These shootings, they happen. Okay? If you would just leave people alone, some of these shootings wouldn't happen. Now, look, they're crazy people. People, people going to do what people going to do. And, and if they're crazy and they're going to shoot up a, a school or a, a Walmart or or anything like that. That's what's going to happen. There's some there's some things you just can't control, man. But if you got somebody that's unstable and you just keep picking at them or you messing with them and you mess with the wrong guy, trying to be a tough guy, trying to be a big man, trying to be a show off, trying to be a bully. And this is the kind of stuff that happens and we know it happens, but we continue to do it. We're not teaching our kids, man, leave these guys alone. Educate your kids. Make them watch these. Make them watch these videos. Tell them, hey man, this is what happens when you pick on people. There's no this mob mentality. This group, let's gang up on this one guy because he's an easy target. Man, he is. He's an easy target, man. Until he comes back and turns you into a target. This is the mindset of the world we live in. Okay. And, and 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 gun control and and take the gun laws, man. Cool. That's whatever. Whatever you believe, that's that's your right to believe that. Okay. But the truth is, if somebody want to kill somebody, they're gonna do it. Okay. It doesn't have to be with a gun. 
They stab people. There's swords. I mean, there's vehicles. They're running into crowds. People that want to kill people are going to kill people. People that feel desperate and have no way out, they're going to find a way to do what they want. So maybe we should stop messing with these people. Okay? Try to help them. Try to build them up, not tear them down. You know? I mean, this could be the difference between between your life and, and your family standing over a pine box. You know? Uh, this is this is getting you know ridiculous um now i want to talk about something else on this same topic like i just said five people shot and killed one of them by the police three of them by a part by a shooter walks into a party shoots the place up i don't know all the details i don't know the specifics i know the paper says three people dead four more injured same same time frame within within a few days two men shoot each other one of them dies i don't know the specifics you know you hear stories but you don't know so i don't want to put anybody on blast i'm not saying they were drinking because i don't know but this guns and alcohol thing man we got to stop this stupidity these these stupid petty arguments that are ending people's lives you know, you, you go out front and, and you, you duel it out with some guy and you kill him. He's dead and you're going to jail. Most likely prison for manslaughter. Aggravated, I don't know, attempted murder, homicide, whatever. All that legal mumbo jumbo they're going to throw at you. I don't know about you guys, but I know 20 years is a long time. 10 years is a long time. Man, five years away from my life is a long time. Everything I've worked for my entire life, gone. Over a stupid argument. Stupid, stupid argument. So, what I want to say, man, is we as a society, we need to stop pointing fingers. And we need to stop casting blame. And we need to take responsibility for our kids. We need to take responsibility for our people. And I say our people. I'm not talking about white people, black people. I'm talking about American citizens. I'm talking about anybody that steps foot on American soil. We need to take responsibility for them. We need to help them. We need to stop casting blame. We need to stop pointing at people and saying it's the gun's fault, it's the media's fault, it's the movie's fault, it's the TV's fault. No, it's our fault. Every one of us has the chance, the opportunity, and the ability to change someone's life for the better. And most of the time, we turn the other cheek. We turn a blind eye. We see it, but we don't want to report it. We don't want to, we don't want to stir the pot. We don't want to take the time out of our busy schedules. And I say ours. I'm not saying yours. I'm saying ours. Just as much me as it is everyone else. We are all accountable. We are all culpable for all of the violence that's happening in our society. Because it is our society. It is our communities. Okay? This is, this is our problem. The government can't fix it. Okay? The church can't fix it alone. Okay, the school system can't fix it. Okay, we can fix it. We can stand up. We can make a difference. All of us together, if every one of us put our hands together and, and, and tried to help somebody, if we all just helped that one person that needed it, and maybe we could change the world. So in closing, I just want to say, Let's do a little better. All of us together. Let's unite for one time in, in our entire history. Let's put politics, let's put race, let's put sex and gender and age and all of that stuff. Let's set it aside. And let's try and teach our kids to live a little bit better. To think a little clearer. To not do some of the things that they're doing. To educate Let's help ourselves by helping others. 
as always, thanks for watching.